Hello, Bishop Walsh here. It is Wednesday, April 5th, and I stand here in the presence of the cross. During this uh, holy week, it is important for us to ponder the mystery of the cross. It stands starkly for us and invites us to think about the saving sacrifice Jesus gave for us and its power, its impact, and the way we strive to imitate the Lord in His sacrifice. He was willing to give all for our sins, for our salvation. And because of that, we just then in return offer in gratitude a life that can be lived in a way that honors that sacrifice. So it's all about this intimacy and communion that we have with the Lord because of what He has done for us. It, can be boiled down to something as simple as that, but it's very moving and profound when each one of us has the opportunity to simply reflect and ask Jesus to help us enter into that mystery and how we are to imitate it and what that does for us, uh, leading us not only to a life of holiness here on earth, but to ultimately our eternal life with Him in heaven. So uh, please participate in all of the upcoming Holy Week liturgies. There's so much richness to it. It's a, a mini course in Christianity. When you think about the important lessons that we have to learn as Christians, they're all laid out for us during this Holy Week. The Paschal Mystery of the Life, Death, and Resurrection of Jesus. Holy Thursday, we reflect on the institution of the Eucharist and the institution of the priesthood and the example Jesus gave us of being a servant leader, washing his apostles' feet. And on Good Friday, the passion narrative that is just so stirring to the soul. And then Saturday, a day of mourning and anticipation, and then the Easter vigil. And if you have anybody at your parish as member of the elect or completing their sacraments of initiation. It's a wonderful liturgy to attend. It's a little long, uh, but it's beautiful. And the recollection of the stories from the Old Testament and the New Testament and then everything coming to life, you know, with the glory being sung and bells being rung and the flowers and the smells of, of spring in the air and just the beauty of all the Easter liturgy uh, in its fullness. Uh, so either the Easter Vigil or Easter Day Mass, if you have the opportunity, please to make sure that you avail yourselves to the, the great graces and blessings that come from being part of the community that is celebrating all of these amazing uh, realities of our faith. Yesterday at the cathedral, there was a lot of graces and blessings flowing uh, because of the Chrism Mass, where we bless annually, the new oils that are going to be distributed to all of the parishes for the use of the sacraments. And in particular, we have special guests from Nicaragua, as you've heard me speak of before, Father Jose Luis, who is a priest, can celebrating the Mass, and then the three laymen, Manuel, uh, Wilberto, and Sergio. And we are anticipating their families. Now, this is almost, I think, six weeks after they've arrived uh, we've been working hard to try to get their families to, so they could be reunited here, uh, their wives and children. Uh, so please continue to pray for that. They, but they stand as a great witness to us of uh, courage and fidelity. Uh, it's just so important that they were part of our communion of faith yesterday and how they may have felt so far away from home and yet in the church they were very near to the heart of God and to to our hearts. So, uh, thanks to all who came to the Chrism Mass yesterday. It was beautiful and very uplifting and very edifying for me again to be surrounded by the, the Church of the Diocese of Gaylord. I'll be going to a Mass in prison today uh, down in Manistee. Uh, please pray for, for those. Often again, we think of how easy it is to forget those who are uh, in situations like that. And, and the need of prayer for them as well. So uh, be honored to celebrate the Holy Mass for the men in the prison today. And lastly, I just want to offer a word of thanks to Eric Chittle. You may have seen the news that was announced yesterday that Eric, as our interim superintendent for schools and as the longtime principal of, 
uh, St. Francis in Traverse City and other times he served as teacher and principals uh, of schools is leaving us. He's going to be going to Tennessee uh, at the end of the school year. But he's been a wonderful asset to the diocese and our educational system. Uh, great inspiration, both personally as a man of faith and with his administrative and um, academic background, was so influential to, I think, at least two generations of students. And we're certainly going to miss him and wish him all the best. Thank you very much for checking in, and a blessed Holy Week.